Teresa sure looks worried, doesn't she? Yeah, my heart bleeds for her. <laughs> She's probably wondering if Julian somehow got the information about Ethan's paternity from her computer. Mm -hmm. She has no idea that I'm the one who stole the files. You know, I've never liked Ethan very much. But I can't help to feel for him now. Ethan out of crane, it's unbelievable. <laughs> if what Julian says is true, Ethan's life is just <sighs> disintegrated. Well, this whole true identity is wrapped up in being the heir of the Crane Empire. Well, at least I'm off the hook. There's no way I could be Ethan's father, <laughs> thanks to Eve. Me? Yeah, remember that time that Ivy tried to make me think that I was Ethan's father, <laughs> and you read Ethan's birth records to me? And told me there was no way we could be related. Eve, Eve, look. Sam knows that Ethan was born nine months after he and I slept together. I told him that Ethan was premature so he would think that Ethan was Julian's son. If he sees those birth records, he's going to know that Ethan was full term. Please, just change the records to show that Ethan was born prematurely. So you admit it. Ethan is Sam's son. How could you have kept this from him all these years, Ivy? Oh, I would have kept it from him forever if I hadn't lost my mind. Oh, I wanted Sam so badly, I thought that if he knew we had a child together, he'd want me back in his life. You know, Ivy, that is all beside the point. Sam deserves to know that he has another son. What? I'm not your son? How can you say that, Father? I'm sorry. I'm so very sorry. I loved you like a son. Always loved you. The best son a man could have, but uh, not mine. I'm not your father, Ethan. Something happening here at the party? Tell me, Pilar. Was my feeling right? Grace, you're just tired. And with you being pregnant, I think the party was a, a little bit much, that's all. I suppose you're right. <laughs> I can't wait to have this baby. Oh, I'm so thrilled for you. I just know it's a boy. It's what Sam wants, you know. Really? He's always wanted a second son. I'm just so happy, Pilar. Well, you deserve to be. You should be very happy, Grace. Hmm. I wonder what Sam's second son will turn out like. Sam's second son is probably going to be more like his father than anyone could ever imagine. No. It can't be. Oh, it's a lie. All of it. No reason. But then it's a horrible misunderstanding. Come and sit down. It can't be true. Oh, I was born a crane. No. And I was raised a crane. It's who I am, and I always will be. It'll be all right, Ethan. No, of course, it's already all right. Because I'm a crane. And there's nothing anyone can do to change that. <laughs> Hey, Jay. Jessica. How's Charity doing? Oh, she's fine. She's um, upstairs sleeping. 
I think I'm gonna go up and make sure. No, Miguel, you can't do that. Why not? Well, because, I mean, it took me forever to get her go to sleep, and she's just really exhausted. You're right. But I, I was still gonna stay here tonight. In the house? Yeah, here in the living room. You know, just in case Charity wakes up, I'll be here. Oh, that's so sweet. Why do you look so worried? What is something else besides Charity, or...? No. It's just, when I was at the party, I kept getting this feeling that I couldn't shake. I mean, your mom was getting really strong feelings, too. She was certain that something wasn't right. With what? Everybody's getting so strange about things lately. I don't know, okay? I heard that when two people are totally in love, they just, I don't know, they have this connection. Like, well, it's like a connection. You know, they can tell when each other is in trouble, and I don't know, they just sense it. There is no connection this time. Charity's upstairs sleeping peacefully. I'm glad you were here taking care of her for me, Kay. I did it! I destroyed Charity. From now on, it's going to be smooth sailing. Nothing can stop me now. I will visit a plague of evil on the entire town of Harmony and bring the whole world to its knees! <laughs> <laughs> Help me, please! Help me! Help me! Tell me, Father, why are you lying to me? And what's the point? What do you have to gain from it? Explain that to me. I love you, Ethan. We will get through this. I'm waiting, Father. Tell me why you are lying to me. Oh, no, it's the truth. You have to accept it the same way I have to. No, never. Man, I can't believe this. I mean, what if Ethan isn't a crane? This changes everything. I just wish there was something I could do for him, Coach. You just need to be there for him. If all this turns out to be true, he's going to need his friends. I mean, the idea of me and him being in the same boat, not knowing who our parents are? Well, at least he's got his moms. I mean, she could tell him who his dad is, right? Ethan, are you all right? You heard? It's not true. It can't be. You all right, sis? I'm so glad you're here, please. How could you do that, Julian? I've done nothing. To lie like that! Everything I said is the absolute truth. Ask her, Ethan. Ask your mother. She'll tell you I'm not lying. Tell me, am I not a crane? I mean, has my whole life been a lie? <laughs> 